Hi guys, in this next part, you're gonna need four heat inserts, threaded inserts, and also two M3 nuts, hex nuts. Um, go ahead and grab your, this is gonna be holding your carriage, your hot end, blah, blah, blah. Um, this is, the back of it is where the rails, you're gonna mount it to the rails. So let's get ahead and insert a heat insert here. And also here. <coughs> All right. And you're gonna also need to insert a hex nut here. Just screw, try screwing in from the other side. That will pull it up. Oh God, I stripped it. Got stripped there. <laughs> that was kind of terrible. Okay, I'm gonna keep going with the instructions. I actually have these that came with the Formbot kit. Uh, it's mold injected parts. It's the same thing, so I'll just go ahead and use these. These just don't have the nuts on the right. Instead, they have they have screw-ins over here. It's the same thing. Just it comes with the heat inserts. So I'm gonna go ahead and use those. You also need to insert. Uh, for these here, he inserts to these guys. I'm just gonna put it on the solder carefully. I'm not trying to burn myself. Hold it with uh, that, and I'm just gonna get it through in the air here. Okay, that looks very good. Next, you're gonna need M3 by 12, two of these, and you're gonna go ahead and insert it here and also in here like that and you'll need uh, to measure three millimeters over here it's gonna be three millimeters from the bottom to the top of the hex head so that's gonna be one two three you should have them like that next you're gonna need four m3 by eight just have it around Hi guys, next you're gonna need the uh, six millimeter belts. Length is two meters here. Uh, my kit came with two of them. Uh, each of them should be about two meters. So you're gonna go ahead and set, it, set the belt aside somewhere. Grab the left side here and you see the belt here. It's just gonna come up here and you're gonna screw it in. All right, grab the two belts. So it's gonna go up like that. And grab an M3 by eight, two of them. And we're gonna attach it to the linear rail. You can have the belts going over to the side. Pull on them, make sure they're straight before you screw it in. Make sure they're nicely in the grooves and then screw them down, otherwise they're gonna be a little cricket and you don't want that. There we go. Okay, nice and straight. Okay, perfect. Next, go ahead and let's install the belts. Go like that so you can see it a little better. We're gonna, let's start with the top belt and we're just gonna go through. The top belt is just gonna go through the top, top gears over here. I'm gonna get it going over here. It's actually gonna go through here. So insert it into this bearing pulley thingy. Yeah, just pull through. There we go. It should look like that. Nice movement. 
So the first one goes on top here. And it's just going to go through here. And then let's turn this around so you can see better. Should have done this while we're going to. It's going to go through in here. And then it's going to go through here. It's going to go here. And then, and then you're going to take this and insert it over here. Come out over here. And the movement, what happens is, now you can go ahead and control it with this other dude. All right, the movement is like that. So this top belt is controlled by this motor, you can see. Oops. And make sure it's moving smooth. It's on the pulley, and it's good. And you're gonna go ahead and back, go through here again. Yeah. Let me turn my thing here. That's great. Okay, let's turn it back over right here. So we just went through here. Just get it straight all the way out here. And we're gonna go around the, the idler pulley. Now get it through. And you might have to push it in there. If you're having trouble getting around here, <laughs> like me here, just temporarily remove your M540, or sorry, M340. Just gonna remove it real quick. It fell through. Let's get it through for now. Okay, like that. And I'm just gonna insert it. Okay. Just bend it a little bit and push through. Okay, try try the movement over here. Very smooth. Okay. And you're gonna get it through the last pulley over here. And boom. Just tr check for movement, smooth movement. Make sure. Make sure double check everything's on the pulley. Like it's off. Yeah. Okay, it's very, very smooth now. We're gonna leave that alone. We're gonna do the same thing uh, with the other dude over here. B's is just gonna be the opposite, okay? And B, just, just think opposite. So we came out this way, so we're gonna do the opposite of the B belt. We just did the A belt. Get this guy through this first guy over here. And just to mirror what we did with the other one. Okay, we're gonna go do the mirror of the other side. So it's gonna go on the outside here. Go ahead and undo the M540. Use the M540. I got this thing sticking out. This yeah. Sorry for the camera angle, it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, that's the wrong hole. Nope, I pull it out. Make sure it's going through. Okay, push through. Make sure it goes into that particular hole. There we go. Okay, the movement should be smooth back and forth. Going through the poop pulley. Put the M540 back. The hard part is done. Okay, let me turn this. Make sure it comes, the belt comes out on the, the part, not on the outside of the part. Next, this pulley, next the belt is just gonna go through here. No real significance. Just go through the bottom here. The A belt sits on top, so the B belt goes to the bottom of it. Okay, hold it up. Nice movement there. So the belt is going to the bottom here, nothing really touching it. And then it's going to go through uh, the bottom back pulley here. Okay, make sure it's on the pulley. Check for movement. Turn the camera around. You can see. Okay, you see how this 
belt comes out here. You're gonna go through here. Right, and you're gonna go through the pulley, but before you do just pull it out. Let me show you. Like that, right on the bottom pulley. And grab the end. And you're gonna go through the bend it a little bit. And you're gonna draw just try to keep it keep it coming out. Bend it a little bit more. There we go. And snake it out to this point. The bearing here. And boom, you should be able to feel the motor smooth, super smooth. Alright, boom. Next, you're gonna go ahead and go over there, do pulley, and pretty much, pretty easy process there. So, just go ahead and do that. Let's go over just right through. Here. So it just sits right there. And let me go ahead and turn the printer around. Finish this job. Okay, you see how it's sitting? It should actually go through this bearing, the bottom bearing. Just push it through. And boom. Now you should have A and B. And make sure for smooth movement. Pull it. You have very smooth movement, left and right. All right. Okay. Next, you're gonna grab the other piece here, and it's just gonna go through here and here. Just loosely hold it for now. Right now, we'll pull it later. Okay. With the other M3 by eight, just put it in loosely. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it all the way first. So it's on there and then do loosen a little bit. Okay, and you're gonna go ahead and pull, loosen until you could get the belts, pull the belts through. All right, there we go. them nice and tight now we are going to go ahead and tighten these belts anyways but for right now we're gonna get as tight as possible not super tight but tight as possible it's good now once they're in you should be able to go like that you see how the XY core and make sure you get very smooth movements no weird sounds and go ahead and double check that the belts are uh, aligned correctly. Aligned correctly. Very nice. This is actually one of my favorite parts. The core XY. Ooh. Hear that? Kind of... Okay, that's looking very good. Make sure this carriage is very tight. So later on, if it's not tight, it might come apart and you don't want to be opening your printer again. This should be very tight. You can go ahead and use this now to tighten the belts. You see that it's kind of loose. Tighten a little bit and tight. tight. I might loosen them up, up a little bit because I don't want them to go really tight. So. Okay, they're very loose, and I can go ahead and tighten these to tighten the belts a lot tighter. That's very tight. Over here, too. Then adjust this guy to tighten. This way, you have a little room to play. I don't want to make it too tight in the beginning and later. I have no room to <laughs> loosen. Later on, you can go ahead and adjust your X, Y, A, B here. That seems perfect. I just sort of go by field today here. It's negative 14 degrees Celsius outside, by the way. Uh, grab a M3 by 30 and an M40 by 30. 
Okay, M3 by 40 is gonna go up here. Okay, screw all the way in. M3 by 30 down here. All right, they should have moved in it real nicely like that. Ready to go to the next step. Next, let's go ahead and grab the Omron probe if you've got the kit here. Now, have it face out this way. Uh, there is an LED that turns on so you can see it. So make sure this face is going like this. Now you'll need to use one of these if you're using a uh, standard part. But my uh, injected molded part actually comes with heat insert so I don't need it. Which is really nice actually. You're going to just go ahead and insert it. You can cut the belts here now. I think. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to cut this excess belt. Have it going like this. It up. Now it should sit about six millimeters. Alright. I want it six millimeters. Um I don't have to bother. Alright, but mine there it's already set, so it's already at six millimeters. I just have to insert insert the nuts. Okay. By the way, this probe works quite well. I don't use a ZN stop. People, you will have problems with the ZN stop. One of the Voron design flaws is, oh, grab two M330s. Insert it. One of the flaws with the Voron design uh, is basically, these are actually kind of long. Now with that inserted, it should measure six millimeters. This particular unit uh, already comes pre-measured, so I didn't have, I just have to insert the screws. That's kind of cool. This wire is gonna route this way, so stick it like that. And if you're using a Hall effect sensor, uh, you can insert a magnet over here. Now this kit um, doesn't come with it, so it doesn't actually have a hole. So in the next step, we're gonna go ahead and build the uh, afterburner. At this point you can go with the stealth burner but if this is your first time building a Voron 2.4 I do recommend just going with the afterburner and you can switch it later otherwise you're dealing with more stuff you gotta learn. So I'm gonna install the afterburner uh, it's been actually working out really good for me getting good speeds um, later on I'll upgrade to stealth burner. By now you should have the belts installed uh, with the probe installed and we just gotta install the hot end extruder assembly. I'll see you guys on the next step. Have a great day. Bye.